Hi, my name is Paul Nebraski from Nebraski Plumbing and Cooling. And in today's series, we're going to talk about common plumbing problems in your home. Today, we're going to talk about some common causes of low water pressure in your home. First and very easy one is your aerator on your sink clog. Very simple fix. Unscrew your aerator, take a look, and as you can see, there's dirt in this aerator. All you need to do is turn your water on, clean it out, empty it out in the sink, shut your water off, and turn it right back on. This is all done with your hand, no wrench is needed. It's a very simple fix. You have one on every faucet in your house, and this will take care of it. There you go, nice water pressure. Two other common things that I, we get calls for when people have low water pressure is number one, is your faucet outside running? Are you watering the grass? Are you filling the pool? Is your husband washing the car? At that point, sometimes the faucet outside will take most of your water pressure. So you're gonna have low water pressure in your home. Shut that faucet off, outside faucet off, and try your water pressure again. A third thing that we get a lot of calls for would be, is your water filter clogged? Water filters should be changed if you have one in your house on a regular basis. Check the water filter. Another thing to look for if you have low water pressure is do you have leaks underneath your sink? A lot of times this sink has to be emptied and cleaned out. People keep putting stuff and stuff underneath the sink and they either crush the pipes, shut the pipe off by accident, or cause a leak. If you see a leak underneath your sink, call your professional. One of the most common problems we get called for is my toilet running. A few easy steps to check and to fix with your toilet. Come over to your toilet, pull the lid off. Once the lid is taken off, you can look inside. First of all, there's a chain that connects your toilet handle to your flapper. Make sure that chain is connected and is not too much excess chain. Second thing you can check is your flapper. Run your hand around the bottom of the flapper. If you pull black grime off it, it means the flapper could be disintegrating and needs to be changed. A third important thing to check is there's a ball in here that rises and shuts off the water when it's, when it's um, filled. A lot of times that ball needs to be replaced. You can also lift that up and see if it shuts the toilet off. If it shuts the toilet off, your ball is not working properly. Another important plumbing tip is make sure that you have your water tested to make sure that you do not have hard water, corrosive water. Um, in hard water, what hard water does is it, it clogs the inside of your pipes. It will also clog your dishwasher, your, your faucets, and lowers the life expectancy of your plumbing fixtures in your house. So it's very important to call a professional, have your water tested, and you might need water conditioning equipment like a water salt.